Welcome to the bottom of the rabbit hole. Salute to all the matrixologists tuning in. You are appreciated. In this video, we are going to talk about sweating the small stuff, one of many matrix comics in the series. So heads up, there will be heavy spoilers. And if this is your first time down here, or you simply want to know everything about the matrix universe, be sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you do not miss out on any yellow pilled content. The story and art for sweating the small stuff was created by Bill Sienkiewicz. The plot was credited to both Bill and Spencer Lamb. It was originally released April 1st, 1999 on whatisthematrix.com and was later published in The Matrix Comics Volume 1. Of course, it was also republished as part of The Matrix Comic 20th Anniversary Edition. Bill's innovative use of collage and illustration method to tell a story have won him many major awards, including the 1983 Kirby Award of Best Artist for the comic Electra Assassin. He was nominated for an Emmy Award for production and character design of the TV series Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego. Bill was also co-creator with Chris Claremont of the Marvel Comics character Legion, which recently became the basis for the 2017 and 2019 critically acclaimed television show of the same name. Sweating the small stuff starts with the main character Dez, a blue pill, who thinks he is losing touch with reality. He convinces his girlfriend Mia to stop drug running for crime boss Marlo, which she agrees to, but does so on bad terms with the cartel and takes up gun running instead. Mia says that he could care less about the illegality of her profession and that Dez only cares about his fantasy of growing old together in a house with a yard and a white picket fence. Dez expresses that he isn't a fan of her newly chosen alternative, but Mia tells him that running guns pays better and will allow her to be around more, leaving the couple more time to be together. Dez starts to tell Mia his true fears, that he feels as if he is being watched and even followed. Everything feels fake to him. Dez describes in detail that while pouring sugar into a cup of coffee, he could see through objects and into the green code that underlies everything in the matrix. What is interesting here is that Dez sees the code as numbers in this comic as opposed to the Japanese kanji characters that are usually shown. He then goes on to say that he feels like these guys in black are watching his every move as if they view him to be a threat. Before Mia can respond to his concerns, the door suddenly explodes and gunmen open fire upon them. Dez assumes the attack is from the guys in black suits who he thinks have been watching him. He believes that he unknowingly dragged his girlfriend into this conflict and starts to run, only to hear one of the intruders shout, Marlo says hello, which makes him realize they are hitmen sent by the cartel to deliver Mia's retirement plan. Through the smoke, Dez sees Mia raise a machine gun and begin to laugh. In this moment, Dez says, quote, time slows and I see it all. The answer, it's right there. I can touch it. It's beautiful, simple, end quote. Now it should be noted that when Dez sees the code this time, the numbers are shown through the golden light. Once he comes out of the bullet time like days and no longer sees the code, Dez can see the look of terror and shock in the eyes of the gunman. No more numbers, only their fear. In that moment, Mia fires her machine gun killing the cartel hitman. Suddenly, Dez hears helicopters approaching and in his mind, he sees a multitude of agents, each far deadlier than the gunman Mia just killed. Dez and Mia begin to run together, not knowing where they are going, but knowing they are running away from the immediate danger and towards answers. The final frame shows the house with a yard and a fence, all in green code, saying, quote, when it comes to reality, you take what you can get. Now I know some of you are thinking, agents go after potentials and Dez saw the yellow code, so this might be a previous version of the one. I believe there is some circumstantial evidence to suggest that this story could easily be expanded to support that case. First and foremost, in the introduction to volume one of the Matrix printed comics, Spencer Lamb says, it was the Wachowskis who suggested we do comics back in the very first days. Not adaptations, to be clear, but new stories. We figured, why create adaptations when the film already tells that particular story? Why be redundant? Remember, this story went up on the Matrix website April 1st, 1999, so it was clearly one of the comics created before the original film was released. However, we don't see the Golden Code again until Neo meets Seraph in Reloaded, so this story may have been influential to the Gold Code effect shown in the sequels. Just before Dez sees the Gold Code in the comics, he and Mia are caught by surprise and outnumbered. But after he sees the Golden Code, the cartel's hitmen are full of fear and Mia suddenly has the upper hand. It is as if Dez changed the Matrix as he saw fit, at which point there is no question that he is on the agent's radar. We know from the architect that the previous ones were based on a contingent affirmation that was meant to create a profound attachment to humanity. While the others experienced this in a very general way, Neo focused his love directly towards Trinity. Dez clearly cares about Mia, 
but there is no indication that he is as deeply connected to her as Neo is to Trinity. In fact, Mia herself says that Dez is connected to the cute fantasy of growing old together more than her individual well-being. The architect also tells us that all of the ones before Neo chose to reset the matrix. At the end of sweating the small stuff, Dez is looking for answers. Perhaps Dez eventually found the architect and after getting the answers to those questions, he chose to reset the matrix. Anyway, they don't flat out say that Dez is a previous version of the one, but there's nothing in the way of allowing that to be the case here. And at the same time sweating the small stuff was created, I suspect that previous versions of the one may not have even been a thing yet. But should a Matrix streaming series ever be released about Mia and Dez, remember where you heard it first. Don't forget to check out all the Matrix University gear at our Teespring shop. If you appreciate this kind of yellow pill content, be sure to share it on other platforms like Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, and remember, as one realizes that one is a dream figure in another person's dream, that is self-awareness.